What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and today I'm bringing you guys a unit review of Zephiel. In this video, I will be telling you how good he is and if you decide to use him, I'll also tell you how easy or hard it is to level him up to level 40. I will be talking about some of his best skill inheritance options and we will also take a look at some of his best teammates and some counters for him that you should watch out for. Zephiel is the 6th Grand Hero Battle Unit in the game and in my opinion, he's one of the best if not the best unit we have got so far from the Grand Hero Battles. He has got a rating of 168 which is 2nd highest in the game and he ties with Hector and Effie with that rating. All of the IVs for him will be neutral just like every other Grand Hero Battle Unit in the game. We will be looking at his 5 star stats as it's much fair to judge a unit that way. So looking at his stats, his HP stat is humongous and he actually has the highest HP stat in the game. So that lets him survive hits with his good bulk. His attack is also really high thanks to the 16 might of his signature weapon x -Axe. He can hit pretty hard with that attack stat and as you can see, he does a good chunk of damage to some of the most common units in the arena. His speed stat is bad, however his very fighter skill prevents any double attacks as long as he's above 50% HP so that's why his speed problem is somewhat solved with that skill. However, after his very fighter skill is broken, he gets doubled by pretty much everyone so that's a bad thing. His defense stat is amazing even after life and death's minus 5 defense so it becomes a lot better after you take off life and death passive skill and that is something which I recommend as uh, after taking off life and death he can survive 2 hits coming from a death blow brave lance plus Effie and that's a pretty incredible feat. So his defense stat is very good and he's actually got the second highest defense stat in the game. His resistance stat is a bit on the lower side, however even with this resistance stat and very fighter skill, he can still survive a hit coming from a life and death plus attack lint so that is also a pretty amazing feat. So needless to say, if you remove his life and death skill, his longevity becomes better. His signature weapon is x axe and this weapon has might of 16. It has got threatened defense too built into it so that definitely helps Zephiel do even more damage to his opponents and after minus 4 defense debuff he can one hit KO units which he couldn't before and I really wish that his weapon had distant counter built into it just like he had that in his own game but nonetheless this is still a great weapon. His slotty passive skill is life and death and as you might have noticed life and death is not a good option for a tanky unit like Zephiel. All it does is reduces bulk and longevity in exchange of giving him some attack and useless speed. So it should be taken off and replaced with something like death blow or attack plus 3 if you have got the resources. His slot B passive skill is very fighter which increases his longevity as uh, Zephiel does not get doubled by units as long as he's above 50% HP and as long as he is not up against a sword breaker unit who has got more speed than him. Also keep in mind that Weary Fighter does not remove the double attack from Brave Weapons so Brave Weapon users like Reinhardt will still be hitting Zephiel 2 times. So Weary Fighter is an amazing skill and the fact that he comes with this skill by default it makes him a very good unit out of the box. Reprisal is a special and it has got 2 turn cooldown and skills like Reprisal and Vengeance are really good on units who have got big HP stats so Zephiel can definitely make use of this skill. However, for him to get most out of the skill, he would have to be outside his very fighter range and that's a very unsafe range for a slow unit like Zephiel. So 8 points of additional damage as most Zephiel can get without being outside his very fighter range. So this isn't really the best special for him but it isn't really too bad. So overall Zephiel is a phenomenal unit and he has got amazing stats all across the board and he has got very good bulk and offensive power. However he suffers from a major weakness and that is his poor one movement but that can be improved with skill inheritance mechanic. He is definitely one of the better units we have got so far from the Grand Hero Battles. Even out of the box, due to very fighter skill, he can be a pretty good unit and with Skeleton's mechanic, he can reach his maximum potential. I would definitely recommend you to promote him to 5 star if you want to have a tanky and a heavy hitting red unit with a good rating and I will actually be 5 starring him myself because I really like him 
And as for leveling him up, you will have to have some patience because just like any other armored unit, he's gonna be a pain to level up because of his poor one movement and the fact that you face opponents with armor slaying weapons pretty often in training tower will make it quite hard for you. So you will have to use a unit with reposition and healers to make sure he can reach places to get kills and survive. So let's move on to his best skill inheritance options. For his slot A, life and death should be taken out immediately and it should be replaced by attack plus 3 or death blow. Attack plus 3 from a 4 star Shershi or Garden is a really good option for him because he will get attacked most of the time and he will be defending so in enemy phase death blow is not active so attack plus 3 is a good option for him and it's a pretty cheap option as well. And then we have death blow from a 4 star Klein which is a good option for him and gives him plus 6 attack when he initiates an attack, this does let him win more matchups. So it's up to you if you want to have an option that works both in offense and defense, you can go with attack plus 3, otherwise if you plan on using him for damaging opponents, you can use death blow. Both are very good options. Fury is not a good option for him because it will push him near his very fighter range and since he's an armored unit with poor one movement, a lot of the times he will be attacked by a ranged unit and then fury damage is just going to stack up on that. So attack plus 3 gives him the same results both in offense and defense just like fury plus attack plus 3 is much easier to get. His default slot B skill is actually perfect for him and should not be changed and for his slot C. Threaten attack from a 4 star Hawkeye is a very good skill for him because his weapon XX has built in threaten defense too. So with threaten attack he can debuff 2 stats of opponents and threaten attack also means that he's gonna be taking less damage so that does increase his longevity indirectly. So it's the best slot C option for him in my opinion. For his assist skill you can either give him pivot or swap, it's up to your preference. In some maps like the lava map from the arena where you do not have a lot of room to pivot Zephiel, swap can definitely be a very useful option and in most scenarios pivot is also a great option as it helps him solve his poor one movement problem. For his special he has got two good options, go with noontime from a 4 star Laszlo if you want to have more longevity because noontime will keep Zephiel healthy and will help him not get below 50% HP where his very fighter skill breaks and below 50% HP is where Zephiel feels unsafe. If you want to have more damage output then you can go with bonfire from a 4 star male Robin or adult Tiki as it will give him 19 points of additional damage and I will recommend not running Ignis because it has got higher cooldown and a slow unit like Zephiel with very fighter is not going to double anyone or get doubled by anyone unless they have got sword breaker or a brave weapon. So it doesn't really charge very fast so bonfire and noontime are his best options. The SP cost of this build is 1515 and I recommend you to raise a 3 star version of Zephiel to 5 star if you plan to because earning SP will be much easier that way. For a sacred seal you should go with attack plus 1 and if you want to survive more hits you can go with HP plus 3. Zephiel has got another set which is more expensive and it's more offensive. So basically you want to run Brave Sword Plus from a 5 star Kane or Ogma, Death Blow, Threaten Defense from a 4 star Perry and Bonfire. The cost of this build is 2265. It's a very expensive build but I thought I would mention it because his matchup chart is pretty decent with this build as you can see. With this build he can one round KO some very common units in arena like Ryoma, Erika, Marth, Lucina and Lind and it's a more player phase oriented skill set and having Hun attack buffers with the skill set will win him even more matchups. Moving on to the teammates for him, reposition users are always amazing with armored units and passive healers with ardent sacrifice and reciprocal aid will help him stay in the very fighter range. Julia and Kagero are amazing teammates for him because Julia can take care of a lot of mages like Reinhardt due to her high resistance and she also runs green tome breaker usually so she can get rid of opposing Julia's and Nino. She's also able to deal with Lance users with Troubled Zephiel, so she's definitely fantastic with Zephiel. Kagero can pretty much also kill every ranged unit in the game except for mounted mages like Bunny Camilla and Male Robin with Triangle Adept, so Kagero is also amazing. 
Strong green flying units who usually run reposition are amazing with Zephiel as well because not only they can check blue units but they can also put Zephiel across the lava on the lava map and across the bridges on the twin bridges map in arena as well. His counters consist of very strong mages who he cannot attack back and lance users with sword breaker are also very threatening to him because sword breaker is able to cancel very fighter skill and if the unit has got 5 more speed points than Zephiel they can double him and these days in arena a lot of units run sword breaker even some red units run sword breaker so they can easily destroy Zephiel so watch out for these units if you're using Zephiel and that is gonna pretty much conclude my unit review of Zephiel. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like as it helps a lot and share this video with all your friends who are interested in using Zephiel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.